Now, after you have defeated the Borean King, you want to get his fucking loot. Well, I mean, you know, you want to get his treasure, so you come across this, you know, annoying little freaking door. What you should do is, if you go over here, to the right side, you would notice that there is a switch. You come up to the switch, and you pull on the lever. Then they will give you ask you a bunch of questions. I recommend you guys, like if you guys, you know, don't know the answers, make sure you save before you select any of this. Uh, because if you get a wrong one, you instantly die. Uh, but judging from the question, the answer is 5, Lorian. Everything is happy, everyone is happy, and the door opens. Now, you can go through all this, including fighting bunch of sentinels and fighting bunch of different shit. But or you, if you have a character with good enough perception, you could migrate to the right. Spotted something interesting. And voila, she spotted something interesting. Um, fortunately, I've been trying to click this, and it doesn't seem that there's a way unless you change the camera angle it's i think they need to you know fix it a little bit you know because it's a little hard you can't click it other one unless you rotate the camera then you cross the area safely well as safe as you can You keep proceeding through, you can kill those statues, thankfully you deact- And voila! Now, this is loot, you know, just start, start stuffing your fucking pockets. Because this is fucking money right there. <laughs> you know, oh shit. It's like fucking Aladdin, bro. You know, it's... In any case. Now you come upon this room, you will get the experience, you'll be congratulated, you know. As you can see that there's a pl plenty of different shit. Also, is, there's a winter amulet right here that you actually really need to pick up. Well, let's start with the winter amulet. Also... There are uh, also there are chests over here that you can open uh, to open this you need to have the book that is sold by the orc uh, female orc back in the um, the city Cecil and uh, she sells the book of multiple languages once you have that book you can come and open this chest unfortunately I kind of spaced out and forgot to have been playing this for a while forgot to buy the book but whatever well now let's continue there's plenty of more things I need to show you guys because this place is not well done all right so first off once you look through your inventory uh, do not uh, don't bother with the um, this amulet for now uh, the amulet that you currently need to find would be the Royal Guard Talisman. You put it on, and make sure that the character that is currently has that equip is standing in the center. Just stand there for a second. I know, you just like, what the hell What's should happen? Sh and we'll pop. I'm not going to be the one to fish it out if that's what you're asking. <laughs> I love the humor in this game, it keeps me amused. Might as well wear that for a minute, and then you would notice that you got a ring called the Winter Ring. Uh, with one intelligence, one willpower, and ability to cast Piercing Shard. Um, you know what, I'll just give it to one of my characters uh, for fun. I guess I'll give it to my... Uh, 
Whatever, I'll give it to him. What? In any case, after you're done looting this place, I want to keep this video short so I'm not going to be looting it items again. I got carried away there for a sec. You would need to run back. Honestly, screw that. Uh, you know. Well, actually, might as well run back. Technically, the distance. Thankfully, you could run around this, all of this. Well, to the best of your ability. Of course, you would need to put on some anti-slippery boots, because otherwise you'll just keep slipping. My smelly underwear have been serving me well throughout this entire freaking game. <laughs> Maybe I should change them and get some laundry done. Then you run over here. There's gonna be a... Nothing uh, serious. You keep going across. There's nothing to loot here at all, unfortunately. Well, in this area. As you can see, nothing here. You keep going here and you pull this lever right here. That's a you opening up the door to the portal right here. So you can get the hell out if you want to. But uh, we're not finished here yet. We would want to cover this uh, lava obstacle right here. Let's get that done. Also, if you would notice, uh, you got a journal update uh, where it says you defeated the Winter King and so on. Now, uh, you all know that if you walk over lava, you're dead, right? So, what do you need to do? First, step first. Make sure that the character has a triangle. That is your planning to, you know, send a cross into his doom. Let me double check to make sure that both of these tunes... Nope. He didn't have a triangle. Uh, triangle, triangle, triangle. No triangle. And there we go. Give it to the character that's gonna be crossing. So one in group one, one in group. Break your character. Now, this is how this game works. Let me explain to you guys something. If you see you have resistances, right? Anything, if you have a over 100% resistance of anything, any, ca any resistance, once you're hit with that spell, that spell, instead of damaging you, actually heals you based on your, based on the spell. So, meaning if you have 100% versus fire, the fire spells should definitely heal you, right? Right. So, you grab your cast. You cast a fire shield in your tank. And then you run across. Well. I kinda waited a little too long. I would need to redo the my process. Uh, some people say that you could do it with Tornado, but that's the only... ...other thing that I found. 
as you can see the is being healed and voila we're on the other side of the port now you open the inventory of your character with a pyramid and you click use and voila we just covered across lava now in we go now we have explored the lava area here the method is well the same kind of <laughs> i would recommend saving here before i react now here we would need to combine several abilities all at once And voila! You loot that up. You open your inventory, I'm probably gonna... Well, see the thing is, cool thing about the... Ooh. Uh, where's my uh, triangle? I'm silly. I'm silly with my triangle. I know I'm dead. Well, gonna reload real quick. Now we open the. Ch and we get the hell out of there. And of course, we heal ourselves. And voila. We have now gotten the chest. And we're safe. Would recommend saving once again. Now here what happens is this uh, sentinel spawns a lava field. If you get near him, this entire place gets covered with lava. So, hmm. whoops. I separated them by a You rinse and repeat the previous act. And of course, afterwards, you click the magical cube once again. And voila, we are now done. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial, this little walkthrough on uh, how to get his all of his loot. And I hope this guys will help you out. This could also be, by the way, cleared out by a tornado, but unfortunately I don't have that spell, so I have to work, work with, the, uh, create a workaround. To open know. the chest located in the king's room, you need to buy a book from her. My friend returns. The book that you need is called the forgotten language of fair fairy you just buy it and voila you can now go and open the chest in the kingdom it seems that i found that you could buy a tornado spell from cecilia the enchantress in the city for a hefty price of about 3000 gold and it requires level 10 to use it could destroy lavas so, uh, please click like, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial video. Have a good night.